What up fam, and welcome back to our channel. Before we get into much today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop good, delicious, and quick eats like these. Welcome back, it's such a treat. Great play fam, come on, let's eat. Let's thumbs up the video, let's get to at least 1K likes. We're not gonna complain if we get some more. Shall we pray? First and foremost, I'd like to give honor and thanks to God. We'd also like to thank you for those that joined us regardless of what mood is different than when they arrived. We pray that we pray this updated by the time that they depart. Father God, we'd also like to thank you for union. We'd like to thank you for those that you have brought together and that for those who are experienced and have experienced love in this lifetime because there is nothing like finding that partner with whom you share the rest of your life with and share experiences and bonds that can never be changed, never be forgotten, nor never be broken. So, in your son Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. What we have for y'all today, we got some quesadilla ramen and a few quesadilla tacos. That's it, that's all. How y'all doing? Oh, we got a cupcake over in the cut. But, how y'all doing? Let's get into this video, shall we? All right, so, your boy is hungry. Let's see what this ramen talking about. Before anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get a cup of paper towels. Because this can get messy. I've got a pack of sour cream over in the cut, so after I dip the tacos in the ramen juice and consomme, you can put a little sour cream on them. So I don't know if this is going to go on the back end of the El Mocajete video where I ate, what was that, um, chimichangas and loaded nachos, or if it's going to be its own standalone video because today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day, guys. One of our co-workers brought cupcakes for the entire staff as a work shift Valentine's Day present. Because practically everyone on the staff is married, so we're all missing times with our loved ones in order to be here to earn revenue for our household. So I thought that was very considerate of her. Oh, 
tacos are on point. So just in case this is on standalone video, what are you guys planning to have done for Valentine's Day today? For those that weren't off or are already off. So although I purchased this yesterday, letting it sit, I feel allowed the, just like with any food, allow the flavors to marry together more. I did forget to get my pickle carrots though. So with this year being a leap year, although every year moving forward, I'm gonna to try to do something for them. Although I'm here, I bought the guys some flowers. And since their mom is extremely sentimental when it comes to holidays, I'm pretty sure that she did something for them as well. But that way they don't really feel left out because typically Valentine's Day has been pushed as a holiday that's for women when Although it's become extremely commercialized, both partners deserve recognition on this day. So I want my sons and my daughters to know that this day isn't just about one gender, which also don't get caught up and lost on just the day. Because your spouse treats you, well, spouse, significant other, treats you how you're supposed to be treated throughout the year. Don't be up at arms. Excuse me if they're not handling Valentine's Day and going all out, like you may see your friends or their friends or anything like that doing or receiving. Let me get a little bit of lemon lime, rather. 
because at that point you can start to pretty much for lack of a better word weaponize the holiday because you have someone that's doing what they're supposed to be doing year round to make them feel less than because they didn't go all out for a holiday it's not cool and granted everyone has their beliefs but that's me and how I want mine to understand and handle the holiday and holidays period for real because you don't have to spend buku money nor have an insane amount of money spent on you for one day in order to know that you're appreciated loved and valued especially if your person is doing it throughout the year. That's definitely not a battle that you should be picking. The amount of ramen they give you is definitely enough with three tacos to get you full because it's like 32 ounces of ramen in this container. Well, this is a 32 ounce container. So the ramen, the consomme, plus tacos, definitely is a good pair. Speaking of, this is my Valentine. So with me being here, we had to coordinate. I did a, excuse me. I did a Sam's pickup for some roses for my little people due to the fact that one, the last time I got roses from Sam's, I liked the size of the roses that they had, as well as how they lasted. So, with me doing the order, I have to click on the app when when you're here and since we both have our we have a shared membership but all we have a shared membership we each have our own cards so we each have our own individual login for the sam's app so 
so she can't just click here on her side due to the fact that I ordered it off of my card on the account. So I've got to kick, I've got to click the button. And last week was Alexander's birthday. And there was an initial plan to do some things on Sunday. But the weather was garbage. So the plans averted. And we're trying to reorganize and regroup to try to do something this week. Y'all look. Not the ring light don't die. Hold on, let's see if it's dead, dead. I guess I was recording too long last night and then put it back on charge. Hold on, let me see. Well, looks like we done lost some light and we cut on the hallway light. Let's see, we get a little bit more. Look like we lost our bright, bright light, but this ain't too bad. And at least it wasn't the beginning of the video. Could have been worse. At least the camera is not dying. Let's see which side we're gonna dip in. This side seems to be the more fragile one. So we're gonna dip over here. Was spot on. I am so very glad that last night I went ahead and bought this so I was actually able to have a pretty seamless lunch and I have to go out and buy food so I didn't have to really waste too much of my lunch band because lunch is 30 minutes with eating and purchasing food so unless it's delivery the time to eat dwindles because they do have a location for this restaurant close, but just like with any other restaurant, certain places have the better service for different, for certain locations. And from everything I researched online, the location over in Vista Lakes had better service. 
and you're not having to really worry about the food and it being good good depending on which cook is in the back all their cooks at this location turn up and show out So I did a little bit of pre-planning. And I do think this is going to be its own standalone video. So, again, happy Valentine's Day. If I didn't have a drink off in the cut, I'd drink that last little bit of consomme. But I ain't trying to be stuffed, stuffed. Because this cupcake looks so good. I am a huge vanilla person. As far as my desserts go. I'll take chocolate occasionally, but some people, well, not even some people, different people have different types of chocolates that they use. So I don't like going with that hit and miss rodeo. So I don't feel like, excuse me, biting into some chocolate and having a desire for, let's say, milk chocolate and getting dark or semi-sweet. Pink icing is pink icing. Ice not always gonna taste like medicine. But it really just is what it is. So, regardless of how your day turned out, I love y'all fam. I hope that you can get the day that you're wanting. But if you don't, don't let it ruin the day for you. Don't let it ruin the week for you. Just be appreciative and grateful for the things that you do get and the things that you are able to celebrate because there are some people that didn't even wake up today. So we've got to take the blessings as well as the chance to be grateful and appreciative where we can exercise them. So until next video, fam, 
Love you guys. Stay safe, stay blessed. Be that light for someone else to emulate because you never know what your kind of words and gestures could do for the next person's day. All right, fam. So, we had lunch, which it was a good lunch. I really hope that your Valentine's Day goes superb. Mine, I'm alive, I'm breathing, I'm well. So, I can't really complain about that. I'm six feet on the right side of the ground. That's definitely another blessing. But man, my heart aches because I am so far away and apart from my wife and kids. Man, I miss my kids a lot, but I miss my wife terribly. So tonight, what y'all, well, y'all won't see it until a later date, but what I'm going to be doing for, for my a lone Valentine's Day because I'm in a whole other city by myself. No family, no wife, no kids. I am going to be eating a meal and <laughs> I'm gonna eat it for the both of us. So you're probably nine times out of 10 going to see me with some Italian food from this spot called Procolino's. And as for me and myself, I'm probably going to be having the chicken marsala yeah the fettuccine chicken marsala is what's going to be for me i'm either going to have the penne pasta chicken piccata or the fettuccine fettuccine alfredo a la carbonara as my wife's entree on the side which I'm going to indulge in in spirit because she ain't here with me and I'm gonna have nine times out of ten a medium calzone in the middle to give an authentic Italian calzone a try to see what it's talking about because the pizza from them was busting so you know the Italians and the French they reign supreme when it comes to love and the food and what have you. So I'm going to eat their cuisine and think about my wonderful old lady because man, I miss her so much y'all. You wouldn't think that this short amount of time apart would really create such yearning, but it does. So for all of you out there who are able to sit with the one you love today and enjoy the time with the one you love today, you are truly blessed. So relish in that. Regardless of what else may be going on, relish in that. Because there are those of us that are apart. At this point, I accepted the job and I came back for training. So that's semi by choice. I couldn't control where the training was, but I did take the job. So... It, this is partly by choice. There are some who, even if they wanted to, they couldn't enjoy time with their significant other. So there are some that are part by force, be it their significant others have passed on, they're in places where they don't have access to them. There are a myriad of situations and factors that come into play in regards to people not being able to spend time with the ones they love so if you are able to spend time with the one you love wife kids cousins aunties uncles all in my let take advantage because you only get one life to live and people say tomorrow ain't promised but the next second ain't promised so you gotta take advantage of them all and i'm gonna get on about here fam so Again, love y'all. Stay safe, stay blessed. Be that life for someone else to emulate because you never know what your kind of words and gestures could do for the next person. Day. Oh, yeah, man. I almost forgot to tell y'all. Remind me, remind me, remind me in the comment section if you made it this far to tell you about my day to day. It has been one for the record books and it has been crazy off the wall. Like totally unexpected. But with all the curveballs that were thrown, we were able to 
duck one, duck one, duck one, and get stuff knocked out. But tasks that were supposed to take like five minutes wind up taking hours. So, man, like, I'm so glad that I had a bit of handy dandy experience in my book. And I'm a hands on type of person. And being able to help in order to rectify the situation because I do know a little bit about DIY that saved my butt.